if you are watching this video, you definitely Googled your homework. So I am here to help you with that. When you are factoring a trinomial like x squared plus 6x plus 8, the way I personally do it is to make sure that I don't have anything in front of my x squared. By that, I mean there's technically a 1 written here, but there is a shortcut to factoring that you should know if there's nothing written in front of the x squared. The shortcut is that you need two numbers that multiply to make the third number that you're given, in this case, positive 8, and they have to add to make the middle number positive 6. If you can find those two numbers, I guarantee your answer is x plus one of them times x plus the other. This super shortcut only works when there's a 1, aka nothing, written in front of the x squared. If there's something written there, you're going to want something called decomposition. We'll do it in another video. Can you find two numbers that multiply to 8 and add to 6? Well, I'm going to start listing them. I know 1 and 8 multiply to 8, but when I add them together, I get 6. Negative 1 and negative 8 also multiply to positive 8. I'm just saying that because sometimes you're going to have to deal with negative numbers. But they add to negative 9, which is not positive 6. I know 2 and 4 multiply to positive 8. Ah, and they add to positive 6. So it's positive 2 and positive 4. As promised, positive 2, positive 4. This is your factored equation. It's x plus 2 times x plus 4. You're looking for the two numbers that multiply to the third one and add to the second one. If either of these had been minus, I would have had to worry about the negatives. Would you like to see a quick example of that before I sign off? If you're factoring x squared minus x minus 12, you're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1. Note again, because there was nothing written there, we had to assume it was a 1, but it was minus x. Minus 1 is that number we want the two things to add to. So what multiplies to negative 12? Negative 1 and 12, positive 1 and negative 12. Neither of those pairs add to negative 1. 2 and negative 6, or negative 2 and 6, but neither of those pairs add to negative 1 either. 3 and negative 4, negative 3 and positive 4, mm. though, which of those pairs will add to negative 1? It's going to be this one. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. So my final answer is the, the plus 3 and the minus 4. There we go. Factored. Thanks for being with me, and good luck on the rest of your homework. Peace.